they said they want space. We said, okay, let's give you space. Let's strip everything else out. Um, so it was that kind of equality as well, I think, that kind of coming together of mm. us saying, yeah, let's let go of it. And them saying, give this to us and let's see what happens. So then we just had to hold that space and kind of give them prompts and questions and things to help them talk. But they did all the talking. They led it. They led it however they needed to in that group. Um, I felt at the end of those six months, I always felt really sad to say goodbye because the bonds were so strong um, and they were sad to say goodbye to it. So what we tried to do was to build in some sustainability so that they could keep having those chats, um, those kind of discussions. We built a toolkit with them to give them ideas of how to support those discussions to continue without us. Um, And we tried to put a volunteer in place to continue once we withdrew Mm. Um, because that was another thing they wanted it to continue um mm. whereas ordinarily with their kind of clubs it just finishes and then they just wait for whatever comes next this they wanted it to go on because mm. it made such a difference for them and they felt heard which is huge mm. so so um do you it sounds like you did you did you achieve the aims of 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 the project absolutely yes yeah. Yeah. they they kept coming they were connecting. Mm. Um, yeah. So even if it was just once a week, for that moment they were less isolated, and yeah. if they're learning more about their neighbours, um, yeah. they are more connected. Yeah. 